Let's talk about the different types of fusions within our Tech Studio. So there are three fusions, fast fusion, smooth fusion, and sharp fusion. I'm going to show you what each one of these does, explain a little bit about them. Over here in my workspace, I have the three scans that I want to fuse together. Let's start with fast fusion. So fast fusion is a preview, and I'm going to use a low resolution on this of 0.5. This is spider scan data, but just for this uh, demonstration tutorial, I want to make sure that things just go as quick as possible. Um, so resolution of 0.5, I'm going to go ahead and run this right now. Fast fusion is mostly used for a preview. It's not, it's not meant really for a, a final fusion anymore. It was one of their original algorithms. And it does not have any hole filling capabilities. So if you notice on the back side where I, maybe I didn't scan as thoroughly in the undercuts here, and this, is, this was also where there was a dark coloring. Um, this belt was black as well as the hair. So I've got some holes there. Again, that was fast fusion, very quick, uh, simple. It's great for, for doing a preview on like a, a full body scan that would allow you to see if there were any misalignments because of body movement or something along those lines. Very quick and simple. So that's fast fusion. Let's re-enable my scan data and look at smooth fusion. So smooth fusion does have hole filling uh, algorithms or capabilities. So we are going to do, I'm going to show you the manual hole filling for this one. You can fill by radius, which allows you to say, um, look at the model and fill all holes that are smaller than this number or this value. The manual hole filling process, once this fusion is complete, will take us to a hole filling screen which will allow me to select the holes and fill them in as needed and then leave what I want to. So I've got the holes on the back side here, just like we saw in the fast fusion, except now I'm able to fill them. So you can either select them over here in the left hand corner or on the left hand side of the screen um, by clicking these check boxes, or I can come in and manually select them by clicking on them. And then if you say smooth holes after filling, it's going to smooth them a little bit um, so that, let's deselect the large one. It'll smooth them a little so that the hole fill isn't as, as blocky. I could say select all, so yeah, or, or select none. So you have a bunch of different options depending on what you're trying to accomplish. I'm going to select these two holes here. I'll select this one down here and we'll say fill holes. It's filled the holes in and I can click apply and now we're done. And I only filled in the holes that I wanted to and I left the holes that I wanted to stay there. So that's a great option if you have a partial scan where you have maybe a large hole in the back of the model but then you want to fill in some of the holes in the middle or some very specific holes without the, throughout the model. That manual hole filling can work really really well. Let's deselect that. I'm going to actually rename this to Smooth Fusion. Because when you do hole filler, it does change the name. And then we're going to select our raw data again. And I'm going to go to Sharp Fusion. Sharp Fusion, again, I'm using the same resolution for all of these fusions. Sharp Fusion is meant for use with the Artex Space Spider or Spider. Whereas Smooth Fusion is more meant for the EVA. Smooth Fusion does exactly what it says and it smooths out noise and, and imperfections and that sort of thing, but it also ruins small details that you get with the spider scans. So you always want to use Sharp Fusion with the spider scanners. I'm going to tell it to make this one watertight and click apply and we'll let that run. Okay, and there's our sharp fusion. What I'm going to do, and notice it did fill in all the holes automatically. 
What I'm going to do is select all of these and come over to the Align tab and change my view to orthogonal. We'll look at these side by side so you can see the differences. All right, let's apply that. Okay, so here are the fusions side by side. We've got fast fusion over here, again, for a nice uh, quick preview. Smooth fusion, used mostly for our tech EVA scans, and sharp fusion, used for all spider scans. And if you look at the, the detail here, the fast fusion and the sharp fusion have the same level of detail or, or sharpness, I should say, uh, as each other, but the smooth fusion, if you look at this one, it's smoother than both of these. It's about half as sharp, even with the same resolution as sharp, uh, sorry, as sharp and fast fusion. So keep that in mind as you're choosing the fusions um, for your particular application. And that's how you use fusions within Artec Studio.